Hello, today we're going to replace a pop-up and seating ring in a 6.5 or 3.5 blast pot. You're going to need an adjustable wrench, take off the hand weight plate. Always, always, always make sure the unit is depressurized first. Set these off to the side. And you're going to need a small pipe wrench. Uh, in the shop, the guys took a bigger pipe wrench because it has a better bite and sawed the end of it off so that it fits inside the vessel. Um, inside the internals of the blast pot, you're going to see a pipe that comes out horizontally and then vertically elbows up and reduces at the same time. So horizontal is inch and a quarter and vertical is one inch. We are going to put the pipe wrench onto the vertical and loosen it up and unscrew it. And what this is going to do, once you get it loose, you will then pull out the whole entire pop-up assembly and the riser tube like this. So we are going to be replacing a pop-up. Uh, typically you will not need to do anything to the riser tube. Um, Word of advice, don't, don't tighten it really, really tight when you put it back in because once it's in the field for a little while, um, it will rust up or get abrasive into the threads. So if anything, lube up the threads a little bit. It's not holding pressure. It's just simply guiding the pop-up in the proper position. Then you're going to grab your new pop-up, slide it onto the riser tube like so, and set it off to the side. From there, we're going to get two different size screwdrivers. I like one that's smaller, a little pokey, and then one with a bigger edge so it doesn't damage the gasket. And we are going to walk out the seating ring from the top down. So. We get up top here. We're going to start with a smaller screwdriver, push it as far as we can, and then grab the next one right behind it. And hopefully the small one will push it down far enough so you can get behind it with the bigger one. Remove the smaller one and pop it out of its seats. So once you get it down like this, you're then going to hold it down in place, reach your hand through the front of the blast spot and yank it out. So you can see this one has a little paint, a little debris. Uh, a worn out seating ring will have ruts dug in it or grooves or just be broken down. New seating ring looks a little bit different. Uh, this is what you would get when you purchase a Axiom replacement seating ring. And uh, obviously bevel down to meet the pop-up. Bevel, flat side, so flat side up. I'm going to reach up in there and you're going to start stuffing it in the groove walking the unit all the way around till it pops in. And make sure it's sealed all the way around. From there, you're going to take your pop-up assembly that we used before, put it in place. Um, again, we're not gonna wanna over tighten it, but we're just simply going to tighten up the vertical tube then put a pipe wrench on it and just barely snug it up. So just enough to keep it from ever walking out of there. Uh, you don't want to put a lot of pressure on that one. It will get stuck in the future. And uh, from there, we're going to reinstall the handway. Center it up the best you can. It's very important. your adjustable wrench. Torque it back down. And now we have completed a pop-up seating ring change out. Um, hope this helps you in the field. Thanks for tuning in.